Hi everyone, today we're going to give you a demo on how you can use a Synology NAS box with Plex to easily make a digital library of all your favorite movies, TV shows, audio content, songs, and play it to any TV uh, or any room in the house. So here we have a Synology NAS box. Think of this as a central media server. All your content uh, that you may have downloaded or you may rip off, you know, uh, rip from a Blu-ray disc or from a DVD can be stored in this central NAS server. Uh, all your CDs can be ripped and put in this guy in digital format. So now you don't have to keep any hard copies of any of your content. No more discs, uh, no more DVDs, everything stored in digital format in your NAS here. This is the Apple TV. This guy is your player, which you can put in any room in the house. The Apple TV can connect to your television, to your projector, and through the Apple TV here, it receives all your content from your NAS and can be played in any room in your house. So let's get into a demo of it here. We have our Control 4 automation system on my on my cell phone. I can come down here and operate my Apple TV. I go to the Trailers app, where my Plex app is. Let it load for a second, and we get our options for what we want to watch. Now I go into my library, and I see my options here: movies, music, photos, TV shows. So you can actually have all your home. You can even have a home video section. You can have your photos if you want to show them to your friends or family on any TV. Instead of having to go and airplay it or mirror it from your phone, it's stored in a central NAS box. So now I come here to my movies section, for example, and here I have my entire digital library of all my movies. Uh, I'll start with the all movies se section. This shows me all the movies that are in the library, sorted in alphabetical order. Now I've got 10 Cloverfield Lane, 12 Years a Slave, 13 Hours, Avengers, Bajir al Mastani. Batman vs. Superman. I've got an entire collection of movies here. I can go down, I can go into any movie, and I can choose to play it. For example, I just went into Ant-Man. Once it loads, I also get the option to choose what format I want it in, what uh, video quality I want it in, whether I want subtitles or not, whether I want full 1080p, whether I want it surround sound or not, all those options are there and they can be set to change on uh, when you're watching the movie. Now if I want to play this movie, as you can see the content and the, the quality is unbelievable. It's a full 1080p, you won't feel any loss in quality, and it starts playing right away. And the best part is no bandwidth is being used. You're not actually downloading anything from the internet like you have to do with Netflix or any other streaming apps. Here you actually have your movie playing directly from your NAS, which is on your local internet. So there's no question of you know streaming, buffering issues, or bandwidth being used. As you can see the quality is really nice, Everything plays perfectly, and there's no buffering issues. Just to go back now, I can go back to my movie section. Now, if I go back here, the good part about Plex is it automatically categorizes all your content for you. So it actually tells you, you know, you can actually sort it by genres, by decades, by directors, by actors, any way to sort it you want. It finds all the cover art for you. It does all the categorizing for you. So all I have to do is put it into the NAS box and it takes care of the rest. It's a beautiful software and it's completely free. You can go here to On Deck and it actually tells me what's on deck for what I've not watched yet. Um, if I go to Unwatch, it tells me what's not been watched yet by me. And you can actually set up separate profiles in Plex. This is a uh, paid feature, but you can pay a one-time fee of $150 and you get this feature for the rest of, for, um, for a lifetime. And with this feature, you can actually set up profiles for your family or yourselves, and each profile it will tell you whether you, what you've watched, what you've left out of that. If you have not watched something, every profile has its own individual settings, and you can control what's in those in those uh, profiles uh, as per your requirements. If we go here to TV shows, for example, I can come here, and I can see a list of all my favorite TV shows that I have digitally on my NAS box. So if I go here to all shows. It actually tells you all the shows, what, what episodes have not been watched. I can go to Game of Thrones here, and I can go in and um, see all the different seasons of Game of Thrones that I have. I have season 2, season 3, season 6, how many episodes there are on my NAS for those seasons, and how many have been unwatched. If I want to play the content, I can just go right in here, go to season 2, see what's not been watched, and even get an uh, option to play it, set the quality again, everything is there. And again, it plays perfectly without any buffering issues. You can set subtitles, set audio, go in here and change whether you want it to be subtitles, no subtitles, the type of uh, audio playback you want is all personalizable.
according to what you've put on the NAS. So that kind of covers the uh, Plex media server with the Synology NAS box in a nutshell. Uh, one really cool feature which I like about Plex is that if I have my content on my NAS here and I'm going on a flight or on a, on a car ride and I want to watch this on my phone or my tablet, I can actually download this content that's on my NAS to my phone or my tablet and play it without any internet access uh, when, when I'm on, on a flight or in a car and have, to have a bunch of videos or TV shows if I want to catch up on or movies, I can do that easily just by downloading it to my phone or my tablet from Plex. Thank you and feel free to contact us if you have any questions. This is Avenue Sound.